In a USA basketball showcase prior to the FIBA World Cup, Paul George suffered a horrendous, completely horrendous injury to his leg. And I'm a Paul George fan, so it was really tough for me to see. And at this point, after seeing this injury, it brings up the question, should we allow our best NBA players to go play in these international tournaments? Is it really worth the risk? Welcome back. I know the intro is not as lively as it usually is, but with this Paul George injury, it's tough to take. But my prayers go to you, Paul George. Salute. Wish you a speedy recovery. And it's tough to see an athlete, especially a top athlete, but any athlete for that matter, go out with such a horrific injury. It's always a blow to the sports world when this type of stuff happens. And what's even more ironic is I had a tweet four days ago in which I stated I like the idea of a U23 USA b-ball squad in all events, including Olympics. No need for NBA stars to risk injury playing for little to no money. And I don't know exactly how much money or if they make any money, so I'm not going to, you know, dive into that part of it. But four days later, we have Paul George with, out with a serious injury, according to ESPN's medical staff, medical experts, I should say, they said nine to 12 months most likely is his recovery time. And that's just a huge, huge, huge blow to the Indiana Pacers organization who didn't want to pay Lance Stevenson any money. And now, who are they left as a scoring option? Their starting lineup next year is projected to be George Hill, Rodney Stuckey, C.J. Miles, David West, and Roy Hibbert. None of those players scream offense to me. And this just might be the perfect time for the Indiana Pacers to start over, try to move some of their pieces, because without Paul George, they definitely aren't a contender out East. And I didn't believe they were much of one with Paul George to begin with. I know people think the players should want to play for the USA to represent their country. And I know the players probably feel the same way. But at the end of the day, all these USA games from the FIBA World Cup to the Olympics, all they are are exhibition games. That's it. Exhibition games. We have too many talented players representing America that could possibly get injured at any moment. Paul George's injury shows that at any time, any given moment, there can be an injury. Now, I know the opposite argument is that that could happen in the offseason without FIBA play. But the point is, exhibition games with NBA players in it, there's no reward in that. None. We need our players to rest up and get healthy and all of them will come into next season probably a little gassed from playing in this FIBA World Cup, all the players that make the squad. So in the end, this does no good for the NBA itself. It probably lessens the quality of play the following year that a FIBA World Cup or Olympics take place for those top players that are representing our country. And you could also could have career-altering injuries like what happened to Paul George. Hopefully his career is not altered, but we don't know. Nine to 12 months is a long recovery, and will he ever recover mentally is the question. This is very unfortunate. We may not see Paul George in the same form ever again. This is why the NBA should put their foot down and not allow their top players to play in these FIBA tournaments, including the Olympics. The NBA brand is much more important than these benign tournaments that were heavily favored in anyways. And with that said, salute to Paul George. We wish you a speedy recovery. Hope to see you in even better form than you were before. Salute, PG.